tendencies and the options they have. So I get to I get to a position, I'll be like, all right, I know all my options. I have a rough idea of all their options. So I got I got predictable responses that I'm trying to read. Now, your creativity level is going to play a huge factor in, in how you progress through this. All right, so we're just going to try to open our brains a little bit. So he's going to shoot a single leg. All right. Now, I'm going to get to my single leg spin out position. I'm not going to rake stuff and cover now. All right, I'm going to get back to my single leg spin out position. I'm going to get to that 90 degree position, and then I'm going to look for a leg pass. All right, I'm going to get you 90 degrees, and then I'm going to let you figure out how to pass a leg from there. I'm not going to give you the answer to the test right now. So again, attacking the neck, attacking the grip. I'm stepping away, getting that grip below the knee, and then I'm skipping the knee to the foot. Head's in the mat, I'm turning 90 degrees, hooking the hip, and I'm driving off this free foot. When I get to this 90 degree position, I want you to figure out how to pass a leg from here. All right? You're gonna get to this position, and I want you to pass a leg. I'm not gonna give you the answer to the test. You guys that have been to this camp before will know what to do. If you don't, figure it out. What's up? Um, whenever you have them in that position, is it possible to grab their ankle that's closest to you and then walking them back? You can. You talking about you're talking about getting to 90 degrees and just grabbing their ankle and running them over? Yeah. You're talking about you're talking about getting here and grabbing this ankle yeah. and running them over. The you. one thing that that I caution you on, and when we get the far ankle scrambling, which is this is a real good question that opens up to spin a little bit more, bring your butt around a little bit more. This is what he's talking about: getting to this position and turning and using this ankle to run them over. If any time I get to a position to where I have near ankle and they have far ankle, see how he has to stay on my far ankle? If I have near ankle and he has far ankle and he knows what he's doing, he'll beat me 100% yep. of the time. Because with, with him having far ankle, I can never turn and face him. With me having his near ankle, turn and face me. He can turn and face me no matter what. You see the big advantage he has when he has far ankle versus near ankle? We'll get into far ankle scrambling tomorrow. That is huge. So that's one of the reasons why, yeah, it's an option, but again, we gotta, we gotta evaluate risk factor. Because when I turn and grab near ankle, and he has far ankle, man, his, his percentage of finishing goes way through the roof versus mine. But that's, you're thinking, you're thinking, you're asking questions. But I want you to get to this 90 degree position, right here, hook the hip, we're still on the head, pass the leg from here. There's gonna be some body parts that are in your way, you need to figure out how to get out of your way to get to a leg pass. Questions? All right, go 